What's up, guys? Today we're going to do some Python 3 case sensitive string comparison. So, what will often happen is you're given a list of cars. This will come back as an API response or something, and the data is not going to be consistent. Um, so, you're going to get lowercase civic, uh, capitalized first letter, uppercase civic, two, and none somehow. Um, so that this is just the realities of the data you got. So I uh, started a little for loop. Let's print it out, see what it looks like. Let's also add uh, a Jeep in here for good measure. So let's say you were asked for all the civics in this list. Um, you might think to write if car equals civic, uh, we'll print out the car. But here's what that looks like. We're only going to get that lowercase civic. We're not going to get these other two guys that we want. So how can we ensure that we get all the civics that we want? Uh, we're going to have to figure out a way to compare these regardless of case. Generally, the way you're going to want to do it is to either lower or uppercase the strings and to compare them in a case insensitive way. Um, but when we run this, you're going to see that int object has no attribute upper. Um, I bring this up because some most of the time you'll get a list that's not going to have two or none, and you're just going to have a bunch of Jeeps, and it's going to be all good. Uh, you run that. Um, well, well, I guess if it's upper, then we want this. And so you're going to run that all good we have three cars here the jeep's not here but in real data you never know what you're going to get so you want to be able to deal with this integer and this none value so what i suggest is to first check if the car is in fact a string there's a couple ways to do it i'd say the best one is is instance instance car string and and see what we're doing is we're making sure it's a string and then since it's a string we can feel safe running upper on everything so let's take a look at that um, oh again we gotta make this upper how did that change anyway cool then we get all our cars another way to do it that's a little bit shorter is you could wrap the car in a string and then run upper on that. The only thing about this that's not perfectly ideal is that you'll be converting that two and that none and everything to strings, running upper on that, and then checking the comparison. So I, I prefer to just do is instance so you're not actually manipulating things that shouldn't be manipulated. The last thing I'll mention is this generally is only guaranteed for ASCII pairs. Um, so I tried touche with a non ASCII, you know, accented character, and that did work. We did get both. Um, there's another group I wanted to try as well. Um, this is, uh, I suppose, the Greek uppercase for uh, this first one here. Um, but so we can check for this. And this one does work as well, gets us both our uppercases. But I have seen posts online saying that with non ASCII characters, you can get incongruency. So just keep that in mind. Have fun and enjoy.